JWST might have discovered planets around a white dwarf star. And this is really, really exciting because we know that when our sun dies, what's going to be left over once it's past its red giant phase and it's expanded into a planetary nebula will be a white dwarf star. And what else we know is that the nearest planets to the sun will be engulfed during the red giant phase, but there are going to be other planets, AKA Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, that are likely going to be still remaining. Like even after the red giant phase and the planetary nebula is there and the white dwarf is going to be prominent. It's going to be present. It's going to be right there in the middle. So what could this mean for our future solar system? And so this is very exciting. Uh, let's jump into it. The James Webb Space Telescope or JWST has captured images that potentially reveal two giant exoplanets in orbit around white dwarf stars. This discovery holds profound implications for understanding the fate of planets similar to those in our solar system as our host stars evolve into white dwarfs. Most stars meet a pretty quiet end, shedding out their outer layers to form a planetary nebula, leaving behind a white dwarf star. As the sun transforms into a white dwarf, the fate of those close planets really close to the sun is pretty clear. They're going to be engulfed and not around anymore. But what about those watching from a distance? Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Well, JWST observations suggest that these distant planets may survive their host star's red giant phase. Now what they did, a big team of scientists at JWST led by the lead researcher, Susan Mullally, are investigating metal polluted white dwarfs and they aimed JWST at four candidates. These white dwarfs showing metals in their atmospheres could harbor unseen planets. The telescope revealed a potential giant exoplanet around two of the four white dwarfs. The observed objects, if confirmed as planets, they have masses ranging from one to seven Jupiter masses and one to two Jupiter masses. And they're orbiting at distances very similar to present day Jupiter and Saturn. This discovery challenges previous notions about planets surviving the red giant phase and hints at the role of giant planets in shaping the metal contents around white dwarfs. Now keep in mind, there is a one in 3000 chance of false positives. Uh, future JWST observations might mark the first direct imaging of planets similar to our own giants in age, mass and orbital distance. And this finding could reshape our own understanding of how widely separated planets endure these stellar transformations um, of their host stars and contribute to the metal enrichment of the white dwarf hosts. Now, as JWST continues to unveil the secrets of the cosmos, this discovery opens a new chapter in our exploration of distant worlds and the intricate dance between planets and their evolving stars. I personally, am just so excited to learn more about this, this discovery because what this could mean is this could be like us looking at a future snapshot of our very own solar system, what it's going to look like in the future after the sun dies, after it goes to its red giant phase, after the planetary nebula forms, and when there's a white dwarf left in that center. Um, how are Jupiter, Saturn going to be contributing to the metal contents in the atmosphere of the white dwarf of the future white dwarf sun? I mean, it's just, it's really cool to sort of think about. And um, although Earth won't be around, Perhaps future humans will have explored, you know, beyond the galaxy or even just, well, just beyond the solar system. Let's start there first. But maybe even made Jupiter and Saturn habitable. I mean, I don't know. It could be kind of cool to think about. Um, so what do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And if you want to join my Patreon page for some exclusive content and updates and fun news that comes out. And sometimes I don't get around to making a video, so I'll share it on my Patreon page instead. Um, please feel free to join. Would love to start a conversation with you. And also, uh, thank you so much for the support. Uh, if it weren't for my patrons, I would not be able to commit this much time uh, to creating video content, to trying out new software, to uh, scripting, and yeah, really helping grow uh, my YouTube channel. This is such a wonderful 
outlet, not just for me personally, but um, all of the viewers. I mean, everyone who gets to watch these videos, I truly um, thank you for being here and um, helping me spread the news and the excitement around space exploration and astronomical events, stargazing, things that people can do to reconnect with the cosmos. Um, so thank you so much, uh, seriously, for your support, for being here, and um, I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful start to your spring, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye!